Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2016 Honda Civic LX sedan. This one is finished off in a Tefeta white exterior, which is always a great looking color on Hondas. Outside you can see on the LX you do have your fuel cap on the driver's side, some chrome trim around your windows, and body colored door handles, as well as body colored mirrors even on the LX model. You can see too, do have a built-in uh, blind spot mirror on the driver's side. Around the rear of this vehicle, your Civic badge. And this one is equipped with a rear backup camera. And I have to say, I really think the 10th Gen Civic is one of the best looking things Honda has made in a while. As well as this car, even in LX form, is surprisingly fun to drive. Down below, this one is riding on hand cooked tires, which are in pretty good shape. They are 215, 55, R16s. So you do have 16 inch steel wheels with your standard wheel covers on this one. But they look very nice. They have the dark finish and your Honda logo in the middle. Around up front, you do have projector headlights as well as LED daytime running lights, even on the LX. And a chrome accented grill. This one does have Honda's uh, typical key with your lock. Unlock and then press and hold. It will pop the trunk. And then you also do have panic built into the key as well. Inside this one has the ivory cloth interior, which is in great shape. One of my favorite parts is you have the little gray accenting on the seats. And to start, just insert the key. Close the door. And inside of this Civic, you can see you do have the standard steering wheel. But like I said, surprisingly tight and fun power steering. Your audio controls on this side, cruise controls on this side, Bluetooth uh, voice controls, and Bluetooth voice commands. Up top on the door, it's all padded soft material. You have some silver trim and then your beige trim around here, padded armrest. Both of the front windows are automatic, power locks, power mirrors, all of that. Storage down below and your trunk release right there. Over here, your traction control on and off as well as TPMS reset. Gauges in the middle, they're a very nice looking cluster. You can see your digital display in the center, tachometer your engine temperature on that side, and then fuel gauge right there. And this one does have 46,000 miles on it. Up top, the dashboard is all a rubberized padded material. Even in the LX, it's a very high quality interior. It fits together and looks great, typical Honda fashion. You also do have automatic headlights over there. In the middle are your hazard controls, and then your radio right here. AM, FM, um, auxiliary in, Bluetooth, and Bluetooth audio streaming, and it's a pretty good sounding stereo. Standing in the rain, with his head hung it's very simple to use too, and thankfully in the LX, unlike a lot of the higher trim levels of this car, you have an actual physical volume knob, not the touch slider thing. This is actually a nice, easy to use, and works the way it should radio. Um, down below, singles that own automatic climate control. Once again, all very simple to use. You have your fan speed, everything else. Um, down below, storage. And back behind there, almost in Volvo style, you have your center console down below with a power outlet and then your auxiliary in right there. But this actually does have these little places back here where you can run your cables up and hang them there so they're nice and out of the way. This one does have the CVT or continuously variable automatic sport mode and low mode. Reverse does have a rear backup camera, brake hold, parking brake, as well as your econ mode on and off. Two cup holders back here, and this will slide back and get out of the way. You can slide the cup holders back, and you have a pretty deep storage compartment, as well as open that up. And another storage compartment right there. These are also just completely removable if you wanted to do that. Seats in this vehicle are very comfortable. I mean, even for being the LX, they're typical Honda cloth seats. They hold you very well. They're padded, just comfortable, high quality seats. Up top, interior lighting controls, all of that, as well as your visors. 
with built-in vanity mirrors right there. Step out and pop the hood on this one. Also, release the trunk. Inside the rear seat of this vehicle, everything follows through material quality-wise on the door. As well as back here, I mean, I'm 6'2", and I can comfortably sit behind myself. I used to own an Accord, and I have to say, this probably has as much room as the older Accords do now. But it's a nice place to be. It's comfortable seating. This car really would be a great commuter, or if you're an Uber, a Lyft driver, something like that. No problem hauling people. Excellent fuel economy and that typical Honda reliability. Inside of the trunk, everything follows through. You can release the back seat from right there as well. And underneath all of that, you do have your spare tire. on this side. Up front, everything else follows through. And right here, this one does include all of your original owner's literature and everything else inside of there, as well as your state inspection certificate. And up front, you can see the projector headlights, LED daytime running lights, and under the hood. This one does have Honda's or Earth Dreams IV Tech four cylinder. Everything is in great shape, running fantastic under here as well. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up and cut it off right here. We'll chime, reminding you to cut the headlights off. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.